In this presentation, we are going to discuss about the PGP protocol, which provides security services for emails. But before that, let's have a general understanding. So first, let's talk about email. What an email basically is. Basically, email or an electronic mail is a method of exchanging digital messages between computer users. Now, how does that exchange happen? So, what's the basic architecture behind this? Let's discuss about that. Now, first of all, let's assume that Alice is working in an organization that runs an email server. And every employee of this organization is connected to the email server through a LAN. The administrator of the email server at Alice's site has created a queuing system that sends email to the internet one by one. Now, the administrator of the email server at Bob's site has created a mailbox for every user which is connected to the server. Now, the mailbox has the capacity to hold the received message. Okay, this mailbox is holding the re uh, received messages until they are retrieved by the recipient. Now, when Alice needs to send a message to Bob, she just invokes a user agent program or the UA program to prepare the message. And after that, she uses another program which is called the message transfer agent, the MTA program to send the message to the mail server at her site. Now the message received here, which is at Alice's site, means at Alice's site, the, it is queued with all other messages present. Now in this case, her message goes to the mail server at Bob's site because Alice is sending her message to Bob. Now when the message arrives at the destination mail server, it is stored in Bob's mailbox. When Bob needs to retrieve his messages, he invokes another program which is called the Max Message Access Agent or MAA program. Now there are very important points about this emailing system. There are several important points for this emailing system. First of all, Alice may send a message to Bob but Bob being busy might retrieve this message some couple of days later. In such a scenario, this message, this message that was sent by Alice will be stored in Bob's mailbox until it is retrieved by him. So basically the main communication that is happening between Alice and Bob is just because of two main programs that is MTA client and MMA client. Now this MTA client, is pro that client program is also known as push program. It is called a push program because it pushes the message when Alice needs to send it and your MMA program, MAA program, MAA client program is called a pull program and it is called so because it retrieves the message when Bob is ready to retrieve this. Right, and discuss the important points regarding email security. So first of all, cryptographic algorithms. Now in email security, the sender of the message needs to include the name or identifiers of the algorithms used in the message. Secondly, cryptographic secrets in email. The encryption or decryption is done using a symmetric key algorithm, but the secret key to decrypt the message is encrypted with the public key of the receiver and is sent with the message. Okay. On to the next slide, PGP. Now, PGP protocol, PGP stands for Pretty Good Service. Now, Pretty Good Service protocol was invented by Phil Zimmerman who pro, uh, to provide email with privacy, integrity and authentication. Now, PGP can be used to create a secure email message or to store a file securely for Future retrieval. Now, in order to understand PGP, let's discuss a simple, simple scenario and then we'll move on to the complex scenarios. First of all, let's discuss the first scenario that is the plain text scenario. Now, in this scenario, 
this uh, plain text scenario is the simplest scenario in which Alice, who is the sender, composes the message and sends her message to Bob, who is the receiver. Okay, this is a very simple scenario. Alice is preparing her message and sending it to Bob. And there is no message integrity or confidentiality in this scenario. Message integrity. In message integrity, Alice creates a digest of the message and signs it with her private key. Okay. Alice is uh, signing her message with her private key. Now, when Bob receives the message, he verifies the message by using Alice public key. He is actually, the Bob is using Alice public key to verify the message. That uh, she is the owner of that message. She has actually sent it. And in this scenario, two keys are needed. That is Alice private key and Alice public key. Now Alice must know her private key and Bob must know her public key. Next. Now this compression is uh, this compression scenario is a as an improvement to the previous one. And in this scenario, we actually compress the message and digest to make a pa make the packet more compact. We are making the packet more compact while com uh, by compressing the data. And uh, this scenario basically has no security benefit as such, but it eases the traffic. Okay. Scenario that is confidentiality. Now, in this, confidentiality can be achieved using conventional encryption with one time session key. Now, your Alice can create a session key and use it to encrypt the message and digest and send the key itself with the message and however to protect the session key Alice encrypts it with Bob's public key she is actually using Bob's public key and she is uh, compressing it okay so she is protecting the session key by encrypting it with Bob's public key she is actually encrypting her that key session key okay About the features of PGP. First of all, we have code conversion. PGP provides code conversion service as most of the email systems allow the message to consist of only the ASCII characters. Okay? Most of the pro, um, emailing systems consist of only the ASCII characters. Now, to translate the other characters, not in the which are not available in the ASCII set, PGP uses Predict 64 conversion. Next feature of PGP is segmentation. PGP allows segmentation of the message after it has been converted to the Predict 64 form to make each transmitted unit the uniform size so that it is uh, of a uniform size. Each of the transmitted is of a uniform size as allowed by the underlying email protocol. Okay. and the other prospects of PGP protocol. So thank you.